Hello everyone, just like our Microsoft, we have low-code development tool Power Apps. Google is also having a low-code development tool, it's known as Flutterflow. You can go to the Flutterflow by clicking flutterflow.io in the browser and you can open this account with your Google account. And this is the landing page for the Flutterflow. This is a low-code development tool from Google. Okay, just let's explore this how it will work. Okay, create new. Let's create the project, and they have given here two uh, projects, but there are premium. They are locked here, and the project name I'm clicking sample. So what I observe is the the interface is looking very nice, and compared to the Microsoft Power Apps here. So let's create. so here you can see some of the tutorials click next and go to we can go to tutorial or start building it okay click start building and see this how uh, we can see all the controls uh, we can add to our screen here or the drag a layout element uh, so here they also known as calling this as a canvas here and they are giving here the device names iPhone 11 Pro Galaxy Pixel 3a like that okay and if you want to display this display device see you can on it and you can up see the display of the device here and but I not seen anything like tablet or something uh, in whatever it is there in the um, power apps okay so if you uh, see here you can also uh, just like in our power apps we have screens here here they are having uh, pages here create new page okay so let's create one page and see create new page here let's add it as a contact us okay create new we can also uh, like here there are templates login and you can see the login page account page okay so profile header profile header like this list page but all these are premium okay so we can't use them so i'm adding the contact us so even if I'm giving any space, it's not taking on the top. Okay, create new. Now you can see the we have two pages. Okay, let's add some controls into the home page. Uh, here widgets and components are there. Like here sign in with Apple. We can all add these things here and widgets means we can add uh, text text field circle image icons icon button and everything is here here okay so let's select this one and see the properties on the right we can see the properties on the right side for this empty screen and let's create a uh, here we can see the defined parameters for this page duplicate this page many uh, kind of uh, things are there here type scaffold we already know the scaffolding is like uh, structure of the app show here nav bar properties navigation bar if i click here show nav bar never is currently off in app settings okay so we need to go to the app settings on the left side and here we can see uh, navbar is uh, there here click navbar and the navbar colors are available here like this you can change this if you want and this app launcher icon is there we can add one image if you want here let's go to the UI builder here and 
we can see the nav bar here nav bar requires at least two pages okay so we have two pages here also i am enabling the show nav bar and you can see this icons okay so if i come to home page you can see this and just like in our power apps we have preview here also they have given the preview you can see the preview of this uh, app here so see this never home home okay we can this is for uh, galaxy s20 we can see how it's coming like this and here we can see for pixel 3a okay and let's add something like uh, uh, let's add something here like circle image to this empty screen so I added the image here but here the dragging is uh, not so easy here if I want to drag down or drag like that and I want to add one more button here icon button is here normal button is here see if I click button here and dragging here it's asking like uh, you are about to replace the widget inside of the home page which already contains a circle image if you don't want to replace it you can add as a stack or column or a row if I want to add as a add stack add column so it will come below here it's showing C here okay button and I want to add icon button also here so it's also asking like add column add row add stack okay add column so it will come like this here we can add type uh, different different types of icons or there here add a box outlined here we can see many uh, icons available here if you see font awesome we can also see the buttons from the font awesome and material see if you, there is an uh, app for the google uh, sorry apple pay see here apple pay okay like this and let's see uh, can we navigate to next page here okay i'm i'm clicking this i'm checking this and there is an option here actions on the left side and click add action here on tap on double tap on long press okay so on tap just like we have on select in power apps here there is they have given on tap so here in the action one uh, here type is navigate and authentication launch url upload photo date picker everything is here navigate i will select navigate to page navigate back navigate to page and navigate to which page see contact us page okay hello back navigation if i click hello back navigation <coughs> and now let's preview it uh, before that let's add something to contact us so in the contact us uh, let's go to ui builder and add some text so text i'm dragging hello world here we can padding is there everything like bold we can change the body text here as a title okay you can see the text color here italics auto size text align you can add colors to the text primary blue here everything is there okay so we can change the text here and we can add more if you want this is contact us page you can mention like this and 
you can add a image or video player also is there youtube player is also there and toggle icon okay layout elements container row column stack list view card so many things are there spacer tab bar and page view is also available here so what if we add a container container is maybe like add let's see add column and it's like a uh, layout or some space kind of thing here and uh, what if we add page view and it will give us like this page view it's like a uh, slider okay so now let's go to the preview first of all and we have given navigate if I click this button it will go to the next page preview and see this our app is coming like this and if I click button it's going to the next page okay there it has the options home home okay so it's cool the interface is uh, very smooth and cool and here just like um, uh, we have our database um, here there is a firebase which will act as a backend database as a service here okay so maybe it will work like uh, our sharepoint data source or excel here so this is a small introduction on the firebase uh, flutter flow from the google which is a low code tool and you can also see the code for every page here if i click uh, code on the right side you can see the code for the home page this is a read only one and for contact as also you can see here so this is uh, um, the extension for this code is dot dart dot okay you can also download the code here by clicking this this is a premium feature uh, we need to upgrade for this okay so now let's go back to the project and if you uh, are uh, uh, very much interested in working with the low code tools i think you can uh, try this uh, flutter flow from google okay thanks for watching